In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform a Man Whitney U statistic in SPSS. There are essentially two reasons why people will uh, use a Man Whitney U instead of an independent sample t-test, and that's because the data are either non-normally distributed or the data are measured on an ordinal scale uh, that is not sufficiently informative to allow an independent sample t-test to be performed. In this case, uh, which is fictional data, what I have are two variables, the dependent variable which is drug use and let's just say this is uh, the number of times uh, that uh, young adults report having used drugs before and gender is the uh, independent variable and that's coded 1, 2 for males and females and the hypothesis here is that the uh, measures of central location in the context of men with you, the mean ranks are unequal now I'll just show you briefly that the data are uh, quite substantially non-normally distributed and to do so I'm going to split the file uh, and compare groups according to gender and look at the frequencies and just get some basic uh, descriptive statistics mean, median, skew, kurtosis uh, and histograms now a lot of people will look at the distributions uh, for the whole sample when really you have to look at the individual groups uh, separately. And we can see that skew for males is 1.33 and females is 1.21 and if you look at the distributions these are data that are arguably fairly uh, substantially uh, skewed. Now whether an independent sample t-test would accommodate this or not is a separate question. Let's just say that it can't. Uh, the, the data are sufficiently non-normally distributed that you'd want to do a non-parametric statistic like Man Whitney U. Now to conduct the uh, Man Whitney U, I'm going to have to re I'm going to have to unsplit my file, analyze all cases, and go into analyze and compare means or I should say, uh, non-parametric statistics, legacy dialogues, and two uh, or ca uh, two independent samples. And I've got drug use as my test variable list and gender as the grouping variable. And I'm going to define the groups as one and two. So you have to do this because you might actually have a group with four different. Uh, you might have an independent variable with four levels, and you have to tell SPSS which of the two groups that you actually want to compare. Now the default is Man Whitney U when you select the two independent sample uh, test and click OK. And here we have the mean ranks. You don't get the descriptive statistics like the mean of drug use. You only get that if you look at the descriptive statistics. So for males it was 4.2 and for females 2.8. So at least numerically males are scoring higher than females. We don't know if it's statistically significant and because it's not normally distributed we have to use a non-parametric approach which is the mean ranks in this case and the males have a mean rank of 220 and the females have a mean rank of 198 now is that numerical difference statistically significant well we can look at the Z statistic here which is negative 1.97 and the p-value is equal to 0 0.048 now because this p-value is less than 0.05 we would reject the null hypothesis of equal mean ranks. So in this case, we, might, we could assert that uh, males have a higher level of reporting drug use than females uh, based on this sample. Uh, now, a second question that you'd want to ask here is the effect size. And a lot of people don't know this, but you can calculate um, an effect size from a Man Whitney U statistic. And I'm going to do that in a separate, ver uh, set vi separate video. And I'll also point out that uh, non parametric statistics like the Man Whitney U actually do have assumptions. Now, they might not assume normally distributed data, but they do assume that the data are non normal in the same way for all of the groups included in the analysis. Now in this case, we have skew of 1.3 and 1.2 uh, and I could have looked at the, the standard deviations as well. So I'm just going to briefly show you um, a histogram that lets you look at the two groups a little more closely. 
or more comparably with this uh, histogram here. And you can see that the males really do actually have a different distribution than the females. They're both positively skewed, but the males are much more so than the females. This is concerning. Like A lot of people do not know this, so you can get away with doing the analysis as I've just uh, reported it. Uh, but I would be concerned that these data are too differentially non-normally distributed for males and females. And I'll show you in another video how to test the assumption of um, equal distributions for males and females to satisfy the assumption of the Man Whitney U statistic. So I'm going to follow up with two videos, one for effect size and the other one for testing the assumption of uh, similar distributions between your groups.